One of the hardest parts for a lot of new or aspiring van lifers to wrap their head around is electrical systems. But you don't need to let that stop you from getting on the road. An easy way to ease into the electrical system of your van is to start with an all-in-one power station, otherwise known as a plug-and-play system. These systems have everything you need all in one unit and come in a variety of sizes at a variety of price points. Most have pretty handy charts for what they can power to make it easier to figure out what it is you need. I'm working on a project right now that needed an electrical solution and after some research, I chose the Echo Flow Delta Mini Power Station, which retails for $999. And today I'm going to unbox it for you. I was able to pick it up for $740 from Costco in early January. This power station is a 1400 watt system that has AC, DC, and USB outputs and can be charged by plugging it into your cigarette lighter while driving, using a portable solar panel, or plugging it into a wall socket. The reason I chose this one over the other brands was its recharge time. It charges three to four times faster than other portable power stations, taking just over an hour and a half to fully recharge. So let's get to the unboxing. All right, so I took the tape off because, you know, you know how to do that and what that looks like. So this does say to keep the original packaging in case, in case you need to return it. It does come packed in styrofoam. I wish it were cardboard, but what can you do? Um, okay, so this looks like probably cords or something. Let's, uh, let's find out. So we've got instructions and then the cords that you need. So it's got, um, it's got the cord to plug into your cigarette lighter. Um, this is, I believe, the one for a solar panel. And then this one's the wall um, socket one, so the 120 that you would do for a normal, like if you're in a house or something. All right, so I'll put that aside. I'm just going to lift it out and move the box. It's just taped in here. <laughs> okay. So let's check this out. I'm going to just tip it down on its side. So this is pretty tight sleeve there. Okay. So, nope, that, this is the front. I'll just leave that. This end. Um, let's actually turn it on and see 30%. It um, shipped at 30%. I'm not a super strong woman and I'm able to move it around. So I feel like it's a good size for the amount of power that it gives. So 1400 watts is, is a pretty good size unit. And this is pretty compact. I turned on my inverter and plugged it in and, um, you can see that it has it's bringing in 195 ish 190 to 95 watts of input and that is at the slow charging um, so it says that it has four hours to charge there is a switch where you can say fast charging or slow charging i'm actually going to look at it's drawing 20 amps right now off of mine and so i'm going to flip this and now it's drawing, yeah, 55 amps um, for the fast charging. So I'm going to turn it back around, and we can see that it is it has only an hour um, left to charge. So uh, it's a higher draw, but um, but a faster charge. Obviously, I mean that's just physics. It's at 33 percent now, and. Um, and I'll see if it's actually, so it's 140 now. We'll see if it's actually an hour to charge it all the way. On the side with the display, you have your USB ports. So there's a USB-C 
two USB A's and a USB A fast charge. And then if you turn it around to the other side, so the uh, ports are only on the ends, which is a little different than the other units. Um, you have your inputs here, okay? And they're easily labeled. And then um, below that you have five 120 volt and you have to turn on the inverter to use those. So if you're new to this kind of solar power, um, this is a 12 volt battery in here. And to use the 120 volt, you have to invert it. So just simply turning on the inverter, even if you don't have anything powered, actually uses some power. Below that is your 12 volt outlets. And so you've got your cigarette style um, spot and two others. Going over some of the specifications really quick, it is uh, 23.6 pounds. Uh, it is 14.9 inches this way, 7.2 inches this way, and it is 9.4 inches high. And it's a pure sine wave, 1400 watt total with a 2100 watt surge. I just finished charging it all the way. Um, it was at 30% and now it's at 100%. It took 9% of my battery bank, my 500 amp hours of lithium. Uh, so my battery bank was at 100, now it's at 91. I feel like that's really good. Uh, it took an hour and 10 minutes to charge it from 30 to 100%. And I love the size of it. I think this is gonna work really well for my project. I will update when I figure out like how it's performing in the real world, but, um, but so far I'm really happy with the, with the recharging rate. If you like this video, please share it. And if you want to see more van and rig tours, van life tips and information to help women get on the road, hit subscribe, ring that notification bell. I appreciate your thoughtful comments. If you want to join in deeper conversation, join my Facebook group, Gal Adventurers. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.